representative of 3 head 598. Pioneer T616. 59,800 yen. Previously, 698 was thought to be the lower limit, but recently the cost has been reduced to 598. I don't care if it's cheap or bad, but it's an easy to use 3 head with sufficient performance. This machine can be said to be a representative example of that. Its appearance resembles the high-end T818. The width is naturally the same as the Pioneer size at 420 mm, and the height is 3.5 mm lower, but the difference is in the height of the legs. The only difference is the depth, so when placed in a rack it feels luxurious enough. Actual weight, 5.6 kg. The bonnet weighs 1150g. The bottom plate is honeycomb and the legs are molded 15g. This is not a honeycomb. The power transformer has a core size of 65 by 57 by 39 millimeters. The filter capacitor is a high quality Elner Duolex, the board is ivory, and the installation is quite secure. The volume and balance controls are attached to the very edge of the rear panel, and are authentic using an extension shaft to the front panel. The FL of the display is a source of noise, but the back is completely shielded. The AC cable also uses relatively thick and hard parallel wires. Comes with 10 key remote control. The functionality is sufficient and the NR is Dolby B and C. It also includes Dolby HX Pro. HX Pro detects the high frequency components of the input signal and automatically reduces the bias current when there are a lot of high frequency components, preventing high frequency drops. On this machine, HX Pro is always on and cannot be turned off. Bias tuning is included, which is rare for low cost machines. The F characteristics of recording and playback are extremely orthodox, and when used in bias slash normal mode, the character of the tape is brought out as is. One is almost flat with AR46, two is completely flat with CDIX50, and three is slightly high with PS is 46. The above is normal tape, 45 is high position, and there is also a considerable difference. 6 is a metal Swono 46, and you can see that it extends up to 25 kHz. Compared to PS, is 46, which had a slightly high rise, when I set the bias to plus 3 3 o'clock, it became flat at 7. Any tape will lie flat if adjusted properly. 8 can be said to have a particularly low noise level. Even with the CD dubbing, there is less deterioration, and there is an impression that the overall shadow is lighter, but there is little difference from the original. CP is high. Easy to read two-stage switching peak meter. The luxurious front panel is impressive, which is hard to believe considering the price, but the interior is just as fulfilling. The meter is a two-stage switch with peak hold, making it easy to read high levels, and the volume is placed on an extension shaft near the input terminal. Equipped with a stabilizer that firmly holds the cassette half. The highly rigid structure of the chassis is also hard to believe considering the price. The frequency response is wonderfully flat. Clear 20 kHz with UD1. The volume control feeling is also top class. Narrows down smoothly and neatly. There is also less click noise. The recording start is a little slow, so a quick start is required for air checking. The sound is unobtrusive, but has a wide range and is convincing enough. The volume of the low range is also not bad. The graininess and fineness of the sound are well expressed, and the sound is very smooth across the entire range. Although it has a single capstan, the running system is reasonably well maintained, and there are no deficiencies in the breathing of the vocals, the weak notes of the strings, and the expression of the echo feeling. 
There is a somewhat soft impression in the low range, and the electric base with a strong attack could use a little more tightening, but the low range extension is sufficient. It is compatible with a wide range of normal tapes, and high-end tapes have a somewhat stronger high range. Dolby C can be used with confidence without damaging the image quality, and in fact, it would be a loss if you don't use it. When I used it, I found the level meter's magnification effect interesting, and making the signal path as short as possible seemed to have an effect. CP is also high. Just brush up on the basics. Three heads from the CD and BS era. Three heads, equipped with Dolby HX Pro. The T616 was born, generously incorporating Pioneer's advanced audio technology. Digital sources such as CDs and BS that further expand the enjoyment of music. Modern decks need to be able to record and play back high-quality sound to its fullest. Pioneer's T616 pursues high-quality recording and playback, and is equipped with three luxurious heads and Dolby HX Pro. By refining the essence of sound, such as stable tape running, shortest signal path, and vibration-free slash resonance-free design, we pursue uncompromising sound quality. First, direct construction minimizes the signal path from the input terminal to the recording head and from the playback head to the output terminal, greatly reducing the deterioration in sound quality caused by transmission loss and noise. In addition, the use of Pioneer's unique cassette stabilizer greatly reduces the flutter component caused by vibration. Furthermore, by adopting a honeycomb chassis, etc., we aim to eliminate vibration and resonance, eliminating muddy sound. It is also equipped with Dolby HX Pro, which improves high frequency response and dynamic range. You can fully enjoy the real pleasure of the ever-increasing number of digital sources. Furthermore, by strengthening the power supply section, the low frequency reproduction ability has been further improved. The operating system is equipped with a wealth of functions, including a meter range switching function that allows you to accurately set delicate level settings while thoroughly monitoring the recording status. The T616, which has refined its sound from the basics, is now available.